Previously on Grace Kirk. Brody, Brophy, Burden, and Bank, how, how can I help you? So, Grace, what is it you really do? I'm an actress. Um, I also attended bar a few nights a week. I have a special role with the FBI. Are you on my team? No, Grace, you're on my team. So I can tell people about this? Absolutely not. Grace Church, FBI. What do you mean I can't say that? Brody, Brody, Burton, back. How please hold. 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 Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Mr. Brody, Mrs. Brophy, Mr. Burton, Ms. Bancock, Mr. Smith is online, Mr. Kent is online, Ms. Taylor is online, Mr. Turner is online. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, Mr. Smith, Mr. Kent is Taylor, Mr. Turner, Mr. Brody, Mrs. Brophy, Mr. Burton, Ms. Bancock's going to have to call you back. Uh huh. Yes. No, I'll let her know. Okay, thank you. Grace never mentioned how attractive you are. Hey, Grace. <coughs> Hi. Hey, you. I just met your brother. Mom says hi. Who's mom? Our mother. Oh, mom. Grace, have you been drinking? I left your lunch in the break room, Grace. Oh, thanks, but I'm doing the master cleanse. Grace, now mom worked very hard on that lunch, and it's in the break room, which Susan was kind enough to show me earlier. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure's all mine. Were you seen? Of course I was seen. I work here. Oh, I was afraid of that. I'm gonna have to work quick then. Can I grab my lunch first? I thought you were doing the master cleanse. Oh, I just say that around Susan so she feels fat. Oh, psychological warfare. I like it. Not that Susan has to worry about watching her weight. Ow! Sorry, it's crowded in here. Listen, since I now have to go spend my hard-earned shoe money on lunch, can we make this quick? What do you know about an organization known as The Partnership? They keep inviting me to their encounters. They like to prey upon the weak, the vulnerable, the insecure, people with low self-esteem. I hear they don't even let you go to the bathroom. Gullible. The promiscuous, you know, losers. Ow! Sorry, oh. crowded, can we move on? We have intel that the partnership is luring these poor downtrodden souls with nothing to live for and turning them into ruthless killing machines. Our job is to infiltrate one of their encounter groups. Ooh, you mean I get to take their classes for free? We should leave separately, it might look weird. If we leave separately, it is really going to look weird. Trust me. I know a thing or two about broom closet rendezvous etiquette. Yes, we know. It's near a file under strengths. Ow. Sorry, crowded. What the hell was that for? You're a compulsive overeater. You have intimacy problems, but I'm polite enough not to mention it. No, Grace, that's your cover. You used to weigh over 300 pounds. Why do I have to be the compulsive overeater? Because you're the better actor. I have to be the sex addict. Oh. 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 Hi, my name's Darren. And when I was nine, I was molested. By a priest. Oh no! It's happening again! Perhaps in the future you may want to check out one of our meetings in a non-denominational setting. We have one that meets around the corner in the high school gym. Grace! Stop would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Grace, and I'm a compulsive overeater. I mean, it doesn't really look like I had that much of a problem, I realize. It really wasn't all that bad. Oh my god, you were huge. Check out this picture I have of her on my iPhone. Ooh, is that the new 3G? How's the memory on that? Well, to be honest, there's one picture of Grace is taking on most of it. <laughs> that doesn't even look like me. That's Cardi Wilson. Isn't it your turn? All right. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Mike and I'm a sex addict. Yeah! At my worst, I would sleep with just about anything. Well, except for Grace here when she was at her fattest. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Not that she didn't try to throw herself at me. Okay, we're at our halfway point. It's time for our coffee break. Mike and Grace, would you grab the coffee in the kitchen? There should be a fresh pot on the coffee maker. Hey, Doug, try not to get into too much trouble in there. <laughs> yeah, she's looking pretty good now. Thank you. Every fucking time, Darren, week after week, the second those bells go off, you start screaming and crying. It was a priest. Was it really that bad? Why are you so mean to me? Oh, shut up. I don't see any coffee. Well, make some. Frankly, I need you to buy me some time while I snoop around. Frankly, I need one job where I don't have to make coffee. It's really demeaning, you know. What'd you say, fatty? You know, this is very fancy for a church. Five minutes. You know, going to Starbucks with a tutor. Okay, everyone, now I need you to focus. Now, it appears we've been compromised. Now, I know we visualized that this wouldn't happen, but some of you haven't been manifesting enough. For instance, Lawrence. Uh, I suck at this. Lawrence, that's a negative thought. Now, we need to execute some people now, so I need you to think positively. I can do this. See? You can learn from Darren. Let him be your encouragement, buddy. Now, let's get our guns. It's been over a minute, and I don't even hear the coffee brewing yet. I'm going to go get help. Wait, wait, don't go yet. I need some more time. Looks like you locked us in here. What is this? Grace, I don't think any coffee is going to be coming out of here. What are you saying? That I don't know how to make a cup of coffee? I'm saying that I think you just quit drinking coffee. What does that mean? Grace, this coffee is going to be the bomb. You just said I had my last cup, but oh my god, we're going to die! Exactly. This high-end Italian espresso machine is in actuality a bomb, and the timer that you complained was going too slowly is counting down the seconds in our lives. Second, by second, by second. Stop uh, it! Would you prefer I saved our lives? Yes. With iPhone, diffusing a bomb is a snap. I just downloaded the schematics for the bomb. You can do that? Yes, it's just an app for $3.99. I also got this kick-ass lightsaber. What happened? The force is not strong with me today. My lightsaber just crashed my iPhone. <sighs> now I have to buy a new one. I mean, I would get a new one if we weren't gonna die, which we are. Well, since we are gonna die, and there's a minute 32 left on the old timer, you wanna, ow. If that's enough time for you, then the answer is no. Look, I can do this, all right? I got a good look at that schematic. Just do everything that I say. No, I can't. My fingers are all fumbly. I'll remember that for the future. Good thing I always bring some tweezers with me. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Brownwire. I'm going to have to disconnect your call. Hi, oh, hi, Mr. Redwire. No, I'm sorry. You're going to have to keep holding. Oh, hi, Mrs. Purplewire. Mr. Bluewire is on the phone for you. What would you like me to do? You want me to disconnect the call? Okay. Oh, wow. You did that really fast. Thank you. Say, you know, uh, the timer has 50 seconds on it. We could, uh, ow. Or we could go upstairs and take care of the people who are trying to kill us. Sounds good. Where's your gun? My gun. Will Mike and Grace get out of there alive? Will Mike score a date with the lovely bewitching Susan? Ow! Is this Grace? Will Darren let go and let God? Or will he remember that God has wandering hands? And will Grace ever book another acting job? Tune in next time on Grace Church, FBI, CIA, SAG, AFTRA. I'm a little nervous. I feel like I need a drink. Oh, let go. Let God. Oh, stop being such a pussy, Alice.